Today, staff are preparing for a special royal visit. We're expecting the princess to come uh, in a few hours. We just got to update the arrival time, which will be around 7 p.m. tonight. So thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Front of house director Joachim Meyerink is overseeing the hotel's most important arrival of the day, a Saudi princess. Of course, that is very special. We're all very excited about it. Um, and she will be staying in one of our uh, most luxurious penthouses, in the Hamilton Penthouse tonight. The Hamilton Penthouse, named after Lady Hamilton, Lord Nelson's mistress, has panoramic views of central London. Spanning two floors, this 2,205 square foot penthouse is one of the most exclusive in the hotel and one of London's most expensive. This room, I mean, it goes anywhere between like 10 and 15,000 pounds a night. You come here, you spend that kind of money, it just needs to be perfection. So all of our penthouses have, um, of course, the biggest king-size beds uh, that are possible. The linens, um, Egyptian cotton made in Italy, uh, a thousand thread counts, and um, roughly the linen cost about a grand for each uh, bed sheet. So that's a thousand pounds a sheet? Exactly. We like to spoil our guests. Good evening. A team of four housekeepers, two butlers, a florist and an engineer have been preparing the penthouse all morning for the royal arrival. Uh, I'll carry on with my VIP check, OK? We have our engineering team in there for hours. It's nice and cold. To literally check every bit of equipment in there, make sure that it all works properly. Cozy, romantic. How lovely is that? <laughs> And the princess is bringing a very special guest in her entourage, a dog. The dog treats, uh, this is a, an apple pie flavor. Just to highlight as well, all of the amenities are orga organic, which we think is important. A happy dog, happy owner. So we need to make sure that they're, they're all looked after. The dog will feel like a royal as well, for sure. Morning. Morning. At this level of high-end luxury, nothing is left to chance. Even the airspace is kept clean. I clear all the pigeons and all the seagulls off the buildings. Customers pay good money for their rooms, and you, they don't want the cooing sound in the mornings, the pigeons. They don't want the seagulls making a sound. And also, when they walk out the hotel, they don't want defecation on, on them. Some people say it's lucky. I think it's quite unlucky. You've got security down there. You've got some very VIP customers here. There's so many famous people that come here and VIPs that come into this hotel. I don't even know. I've spoke to many of them. People tell me, do you know who that was? And I've I, I got to tell you, I don't. I met a, a footballer's wife because she had um, a Lamborghini Jeep. And I asked her, uh, can I have a look in the inside of it? Because I was thinking of getting one. But I didn't realise that was £250,000. Princess is here. Can we have the butler uh, straight away up to the Hamilton penthouse, please? Thank you very much. Corinthia is a destination for top-end clientele, including many international royals. For this elite, discretion is often the key. Discretion doesn't necessarily mean that something naughty happens. For some people, it's just very important to be incognito or for the world at large, not to even know where they are and where they stay. The hotel has a number of entrances. We choose the right one for the right guest. Go, come on, let's go to the one. Come on, come. Yeah. A personal butler service means that all needs are met 24 7. And today, Butler Dominic is tending to his latest VIP. I have to let the royal dog rest. She's right now in good hands, so she should be happy. <laughs> oh, it's my phone, I beef. I've got a phone, just a minute. Good afternoon, Dominic speaking. How am I to you? I'm with uh, the doggy doing... Uh, doing... Uh... Thank you, brother. The, the, the wealthy people, they love to have the butler service. If the guests want to buy some items from outside, we basically go out to the shop, we buy it for them. So the most expensive thing which I have asked to pick up was a watch, and it was worth 500,000 uh, pounds. It was for one of our guests who was staying in our royal penthouse. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Are you hungry? 
Let's go to your room, let's feed you some food. Uh, Dominic speaking, how am I to you?